Right, we've got you back this noon when it comes to staying safe this weekend. Talking about fireworks, they are certainly a lot of fun, but they can also be real dangerous. News 8's Brian Spiros has some very important safety tips. Fireworks are a tradition this time of year, but like anything else, you have to be careful. People treat them as toys or, or something that's uh, taken for granted. The West Haven Fire Department with the do's and don'ts. First, anything that shoots off the ground is illegal in Connecticut. But if it says emits showers of sparks, then you're good to go. Believe it or not, one of the more dangerous things people will use this weekend, these right here sparklers, they're pretty popular and may seem harmless, but back in 2014, they accounted for the majority of firework related injuries. For educational purposes in the state of Connecticut, we are required to be at least 16 years of age to even use a sparkler. Any contact with that, you're going to get a severe burn. If they're discarded improperly, it could cause a fire. Uh, most of our injuries we see is it's through sparklers by the amount of, of usage and the, the heat that they generate. Our state currently in the middle of a drought. It won't take much for a flame or spark to ignite dry grass or brush. It can even pose a hazard to your house. It lands on the roof and it just heats up the roofing material or gets underneath the roofing material and then it causes the fire to ignite. According to the National Fire Protection Association, in 2013 fireworks caused more than 15,000 fires across the country. In 2014, more than 10,000 people were sent to the hospital, mainly severe burns to hands and fingers. If you are using illegal fireworks and something goes wrong, don't hesitate to call for help. How you receive the firework is not our concern as much as your, your safety. And if you want a big show, leave that to the professionals. Reporting from West Haven, Brian Spiros, News 8.